Hey, it's nice to have you back here in my new video again. Today, let's talk about the IQ360 camera design engineered by Vecnos. So this camera has been released on the market for almost a year. You know that I got my camera on October 2020 and it is August 2021. There are some change on the camera about hardware and software and also about some user experience. So in this video, I'd like to share with you some of the latest update on the Vectons IQ360 camera and just want to share with you that there are something we should definitely learn from its camera and its brand. My name is Yijun Guo. My YouTube channel is dedicated to 360 photography, video, accessories, and some continuous technology. So now let's get started. So every time when I hold this OneShot 360 pencil size camera in my hand, what I want in my mind is a lens cap. I just want a simple and yet very costly effective lens cap to protect my Vector 360 camera. And it has four lenses. If you scratch one of those, you will mess up. For the Vectos IQ360 camera, it is more vulnerable compared with the dual fisheye lenses because it has a four and there are three on the sides. If you take a closer look at the lens, you will put a pen size pencil on the, on the table, it will easily get scratched. That is the reason why I've purchased this lithium battery charging case for my IQ360 camera. You know, it is quite expensive to purchase a charging case and I wish I have lens cap. And I'm very glad to share with you that for accessory design, finally we have more options on IQ360 camera. So number one is the, is the lens cap. This is official lens cap like this. This is what it looks like when you first got the lens cap. It is a white box and inside it's very simple. Uh, it made of silicon rubber and it's fit very tight on the Vecno 360 IQ camera. If you take a closer look at the lens cap, you will notice that there is a tiny little air gap in between the lens and the cap. So when you accidentally drop, we accidentally drop this on the table, it will definitely protect your lens and it also fits very tight on the lens. And you should also notice that there are three column design, one, two, three, and this should be aligned with the gap in between the lens. So number two is about the tripod adapter I'm holding in my hand, designed specific for the Vecnos IQ360 camera. You know, this camera has charging dock on the bottom. There is no accordance mount on this pencil size camera. You know, there are dozens of accessories to design to make your 360 camera more powerful. It is a pity that we just can't take advantage of the existing accessories on the market. I think someone in the Vecnos company finally understand the importance of the standard or quality mount thread on the bottom because you can take the full advantage of the existing photography gears to boost your performance. It is just not about a fashionable item in your pocket. It is actually a camera for most of our customer and some potential customers. As a 360 camera, I think a quarter mount tripod adapter is a must-have accessory for the IQ360 camera. And it is very easy to install the IQ360 camera inside this tripod mount adapter. Just put it inside and you see there is indication just to rotate in the counterclockwise and it will tighten up and yeah, it will stick together. And if you want to take them out, you can rotate in the clockwise direction and you can take it out. So it is just easy and intuitive to use. And also the design is very clever. With a quarter inch mount thread, I think you can take the full advantage of all kinds of accessories that you have on your photography arsenal. Here we're gonna take a look at my gear. Here is this, this one. This is my selfie stick, you can see. Now you can finally put your camera on the top. You know, the pencil size IQ360 camera is quite small, the nadir part uh, is kind of like invisible for most of your scenarios. And if you can boost your field of view with extended selfie stick like this, there are something that could only be captured by the Vecnos IQ360 camera, such as the super tiny little tubes. You can slash them inside and take the shot. I think, personally speaking, I think this should be a standard accessory in the package in the future because all of us need that tripod mount adapter. You know, all of us. For the photographers, the IQ360 camera is a camera and for the cameraman, this is a must-have accessories. So you better put the accessory in the standard package and ship them out worldwide. Number three is about 
a tiny little bit table tripod designed for the Vectron 360 camera. I don't have an accessory yet, but from the promotion video from the Vagnos company, we can see a sneak peek of how it looks like and how does it work on the table. It has a similar size, a similar design with a tripod mount adapter. It has three very thin but very long legs that, that fit inside the tube and you can stretch them out and put it on the table like a mini tripod stand. When you fully extend it, the IP360 camera looks like a uh, reusable Rocket Falcon 9. You can use your imagination to boost its performance. Here I have my Ulan ZPG4. This is a lithium battery selfie stick that has a built-in tripod stand. Look like this. And for 360 photography, for 360 photos, the point of view is the most important part in our life. And I do have two more recommendations on the mini tripod that is very cheap and very cost effective, but at the same time with very high build quality. I will show them down in the description, figure it out on your own. So, with the lens cap and the tripod mount adapter, this is what it looks like in your pocket. Another update about the Vecnos 360 camera is it has more colorful editions. To show you more about the colorful editions, uh, I borrowed the three Vecnos 360 camera from the uh, Vecnos company and they kind enough to lend me all of the cameras to show you guys and that is just Beautiful. In this video, I'm going to share with you three new colors. Number one is the pink color. Actually, it's a, a mixture of pink and gold. You can feel the texture, the highlight, the pink gold metal finish on the surface. The surface looks like champagne gold, but the color is uh, more beautiful than champagne gold, I think. The next one is the, the mint color. I mean, the mint color looks like a little bit a little bit green, greenish. This is a mint color. Uh, it has a different soft finish on the surface. As you can see, uh, there is not that much highlight, but you can see the color is a little bit green and also a mixture of a tiny little bit blue. So the name of the color is mint. Sometimes the camera feels a little bit heavier in my hand. I don't know why, but they, they all 60 grams, it looks pretty the same, but with a mint color, it does feel a little bit heavier in my hand. And finally, that it is a gray color, the gray finish. I like this very much. I think this is my favorite color among all the four colors because I prefer gray in my digital camera product. It looks like a similar finish compared with the champagne gold and the pink. And I like this color very much. It's not pure gray, but a little bit of mixture with gray and dark blue and black. But I think that this is pretty awesome. The color looks pretty awesome in my hand. And this is how it does it feel on my desktop. And you can see all of the colors sitting on my desktop. If you take a closer look at the, the box, I mean, it says the, the IQ generation 2, the gray. So basically speaking, it's the second generation of the Vecnos IQ360 camera, but the, the upgrade is only in the color. For the hardware and the software, they are exactly the same. Apart from the hardware accessory design of the Vecnos IQ360 camera, I have to say that the firmware, the application, the app also got improved a lot, especially on the IQ Spin app, it is now more feature packed. On the my page in the IQ connection history, you can see the IQ360 camera that previously connected with my app. But here I want to share with you how to connect a new IQ360 camera because the connection, the process, the connection experience is a, a lot more responsive here in the latest app. Here you can see connect a new IQ360 camera, turn on the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth before you get started. And to, long press the button and long press the mode button entering the parent mode. As you can see that, it is automatically search for device and try to connect with my phone. The experience is a lot more responsive, a lot more fluent. Okay, and the IQ will automatically connect with your smartphone next time. And just turn on your camera, turn the IQ spin, wait around 20 seconds until they get connected. 
Okay, you can see the next time we want to get connected with our IQ spin, our IQ 360 camera, it will automatically detect the camera and connection successful. So just a, a quick, yeah, you can see a new firmware upgrade available for the IQ 360 camera. You can upgrade the firmware with Wi-Fi and a wireless transfer the firmware to your to your camera and automatically uh, upgrade the firmware. Uh, when you when the camera is upgrading the firmware, you can see all the three LED lights will flash. There's one, two, three. There are altogether three LED lights. Okay, you can see the transferring speed is pretty fast. And uh, we forward the firmware upgrade files and do not close or turn the Acquis 360 off. And the upgrade firmware is very, very fast. So take a closer look at the camera because now it is trying to upgrade the firmware and trying to restart the camera. When the lights uh, turn back on, you can see all the three lights is flashing, are flashing, right? When are they stop flashing and only in the, the power button, the flash, uh, that indicates that you can see, now you can see the firmware upgrade has been complete. And turn it back on and then we automatically get connected. So wait for a moment, around 20 seconds. You can see that search for device and automatically connect with Wi-Fi and get connected. So the experience right now is a lot more responsive. Okay, now let's try to take a capture shot. Yeah. And uh, in the settings, now something new. You can see the firmware is the 2.20 and can record GPS location with your phone and inject the GPS data inside your photo and video. Okay, click on on. And in the shooting menu, you can see I will automatically forward my 360 photo from the camera to my phone and automatically stitch inside the app. Here you can see in the settings, now we have some new options. So 360 video, high quality, and 360 video forward, I will turn it off by default because it saves me a lot of time and I can, I can transfer the video files together when I get back home and get charged and record GPS location. Now we have uh, the countdown timer. It is three seconds, 10 seconds, only two options. Okay, now let's try to take a, a three second countdown and uh, take a look at what is the experience about this countdown shooting. Yeah, as you can find that uh, the, my Android phone start vibrate and uh, after three seconds countdown, it will automatically take a photo. And if I uh, directly take a photo with the phone, you can see it will directly capture a photo, not with the countdown. I think it should improve this feature in the, in the future and uh, take a countdown shot even though I press the shutter button on the camera body. Okay, so next up, let's try to take a look at some new features around this, this camera. Okay, so in the gallery menu, you can see a lot of new stuff. You can preview the photos I've been captured with my camera, it's my previous one. And you can share the different platform, like share 360 photo or share just a screenshot. Screenshot is just like a reframe, recapture photo with or within the 360 photo. And with the beauty effect, filter and create, I would like to go back to the gallery menu and show you all about that, okay? So I'm gonna put this camera back in the box and here you can see I have taken plenty of photos in my album, 360 photo and 360 video. So for 360 photo, I will take a look at this one. You can see that this is my new haircut. Yeah, in this video, I have seen two haircuts of myself. Here you can see a brand new thumbnail, thumbnail preview slider. I think it is a brilliant design and think that for the other manufacturer, they should definitely learn from the Vectors Aquis 360 camera because this is a really a fantastic user experience for you to view back and forth, to jump back and forth between different photos and videos. To scroll to the right, you can go to a previous one and scroll to the left to right, you can go to your next photo. So this is really a great experience and uh, they try to connect the 360 photos to one to another and uh, just to rotate back and forth. And you can see a, a, a white line, a white line in the column that indicates that you are now entering the, the second photo. Okay, this is a great experience. 
And uh, you can see now in the beauty effect, it will automatically detect the faces, not, not one, but multiple faces in your 360 photo and try to add the beauty effects. Here I use uh, this one. Yeah, I would like to, no, this one. I really like the experience. Let's try to see this one, uh, beauty. It will automatically detect my face and apply because when my front facing this is shot, I can show you how does it work with the beauty effects. So it's a three options, the natural, charm, and shine. Take a look at different effects. This is natural. Yeah, it make me look a little bit thinner, you can see, especially on my chin side. And also my, my skin looks a lot more soft and go charm yeah my charm make my skin looks much better but but just uh, remain the, the the speck of my face i think it has a, a 3d ray shape with the ai detect it just just not a filter but it just affect your face and try to ray shape your head it, it different from the other manufacturer they use just use a filter it is not a filter this is a a ray shape with the AI algorithm. And look at the shine. Yeah, it does look a lot thinner and uh, a lot smoother. I really like this effect. So I'm gonna save as a new file. Yeah, <laughs> I save as a new file, okay. The next one is a filter and it is Alqui Auto Filter. That is exclusively for the Vectors Alqui 360 camera. If you happen to be an Alqui 360 photo user, this is your exclusive feature and click on auto, there are, must have some great color signs because it does make your photo looks a little bit better. It does improve the quality by a little bit. For the other the vintage shots, you can just like a normal filter, but the Acre Auto really works fantastic with the photo natively captured with the, the Magnus Acre 360 camera. But you should bear in mind that uh, the Acre Spin app works on every one of the 360 camera on the market. So even if you take a shot with Insta 360, the Ricoh, the Candle, you can all use the magic right inside the iQuizBing app. Okay, so cancel that. And for the Create, I think that this is where the biggest improvement of the iQuizBing app in the latest version. Okay, so different from dozens of templates in the selection menu, here they use the AI magic, they call it the magic, the, the IQ spin magic. It automatically creates the perfect mini video for your 360 photo. To generate the video from the photo with the help of AI and automatically help you boost your performance on the social platform. Let's take a look at the magic. And just uh, click, click on the shot and there are three options, edit, switch and faces. Wow. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome, <laughs> but it's, it is just beautiful, I think. And uh, but still, I want to have a tiny little bit change in the settings. Okay, next up, we do have three more options: effects, motion, and angle. Click on the effects. Now, the effect motions with IQ icon are only available for IQ users. So there are some exclusive effects that's only built for the IQ users, like you and me, right? And uh, bear in mind that there are now you can add multiple effects into a single photo at the same time. You can see effects one over two. We still could add one more effect on the basis of the previous one. Here it looks like I definitely will add an IQ exclusive effects because that is where why you want to purchase the camera, right? And uh, back in that, you can see we can use uh, want to add uh, exclusive. Yeah, this one. The new Ninja Doggles, second one. So you can see now there are two effects put on the 3D video at the same time. It looks pretty awesome, right? Just love it. Next one is the motion. You can change from the different options and there are also some exclusively motion for IQ users. So I want to change, uh, this is a speaker one, I want to change to um, something like the, the nap. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, speaker one is, is is really fantastic for these shots. And I still want to add a little bit 
just learn for the angle because there are some just like keyframe in the different templates. Here I only have one person, so there's only the one keyframe. If you have dozens of faces in the shot, you can add multiple keyframes with the help of AI. And we can change, swipe to change the zoom, add more cinematic zoom effect. Click on OK, go back, and you can here you can see now the, the movement is more dramatic. Okay. I think it's pretty awesome, okay? And click on save. It will generate an MP4 file, a square video, it's one over one square video. It works perfect on Instagram. I also you can put it on Facebook because Facebook preview preview the, the maximum shot with the, a square ratio. And you can keep screen on with while saving a mini video. And we first save the video inside your gallery, but you can also share, save to cloud. The cloud service is also an additional feature for the IQ users because when you log in, the, uh, log in the, the app, you will have some cloud storage where you can save your mini video for as long as uh, one month, 30 days. And you can also upload and then share the, the website as a QR code so that you can share on the platform. So when you click on share, uh, you can share the you can share the, the, the MP4 file to your social platform. You can also save to cloud and then share as a QR code. So we click on QR code, it will automatically save to the cloud and generate a QR code for you, just like that. So you can see there are some demonstration. Upload the mini video to cloud to generate QR code the URL. Once share your QR code and URL, there's a possibility that the mini video might be viewed by other users. So that is some disclosure for the personal privacy. So take a look at that. Back to showcase, here you can see uh, the IQ is being official. I do hope that it can add uh, more and more great updates in the first opening page. And I think in the album, the, the feature is more feature packed. And on my page, have more settings. The connection is much more fluent. But hey, wh wh why not change the icon? In coordinate with uh, the real color of the iCrispin camera, okay? So basically speaking, that is all about the app, the latest experience with iCrispin app. And I hope, I do hope you can learn something from this demonstration and try to figure out how to boost your performance with your own iQ360 camera. Okay, to wrap up, I think the camera has improved a lot during the past 10 months. On the hardware, software, we can see something new and the 360 cameras industry. And for other 360 manufacturers, there are something that should definitely learn from this brand and make the 360 more accessible to a wider range of customers worldwide. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to thumb up, subscribe, and hit notification bell. So more to come in the future. Until next time, bye.